So it looks like there might actually be a solo Chris Pratt Star-Lord movie in the MCU. Now, with Guardians of the Galaxy 3 getting close to $850 million at the box office, we of all court know, of course, that James Gunn is no longer going to be there to pilot the ship. But James Gunn is not really done talking, though, about Guardians of the Galaxy and its leader, Star-Lord. Now, they just recently did a director's commentary for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And James Gunn actually seems to drop the suggestion that there is indeed going to be a Star-Lord standalone. This comes to us from Empire Magazine. And there ain't the following. James Gunn talking about a Star Wars standalone. He says, we always want to give somebody a little something special, he says. And Chris, that's Chris Pratt and I, forever have talked about how great it would be to do a legendary Star-Lord movie, a story with Star-Lord on Earth trying to, to, trying to adapt to the environment of Earth in the same way that somebody else might try to adapt to the alien environment of outer space. He's a fish out of water in just kind of regular water. So I can't wait to see it. Now... That, of course, is not 100% guarantee that there's going to be a standalone Star-Lord movie, but obviously James Gunn wouldn't be making such statements if he and Kevin Feige, of course, the head of the MCU, the president of Marvel, hadn't at least to some degree discussed it. Now, a little bit of spoiler for Guardians 3, for those you don't know, but you've been warned, a little bit of a spoiler here. At the end, of course, Chris Pratt's Star-Lord ends up going back to Earth, and it ends with him hanging out and living in his grandfather's house, right? And I believe it said, that you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe a screen pops up at the end of the movie saying, the legendary Star-Lord will return. We want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video, Bird dogs. You know, as a guy, there's only two things that are important to me when it comes to fashion. Looking good, and even more importantly, being comfortable. And that's where our sponsors, Bird Dogs, come to the rescue. Offering everything from pants like stretch khakis, joggers, and sweatpants, to shorts like gym shorts and swimsuits, and even great looking and comfortable polo shirts. Bird Dogs, like their stretch khaki shorts, are designed to fit slimmer through the thighs and legs, giving you a truly sculpted look. Bird Dog shorts fit way better than regular shorts that are made made of a stiff, restricting cotton. You see, Bird Dogs fixed this issue by inventing cloud knit fabric that looks just like khaki, but stretches so you get a way slimmer fit without having to sacrifice movement. And that's just one of the reasons that by wearing Bird Dogs, you're gonna look good and more importantly, feel good. So guys, go to birddogs.com slash campia for a free Yeti style tumbler with your order. That's birddogs.com slash campia for a free Yeti style tumbler. Use code campia. You won't want to take your Bird Dogs off. We promise you which is exactly what James Gunn was saying, right? We want to do a legendary Star-Lord movie. Now, as for me, I completely welcome this idea because ever since the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy 1 with that, hey, like song starts playing, he's dancing through the alien landscape. I have loved Chris Pratt in this role. It, I mean, he's almost, almost good enough in this role for me for his portrayal as Star-Lord to surpass his portrayal as Andy in Parks and Rec, one of my all-time favorite TV shows. Uh, maybe not quite, but it's getting there. And listen, there's a lot of different things you can do with them. Of course, if they do pursue that, I think they'd have to probably come up with some kind of a storyline that suggests that the that Star-Lord like reignites his latent powers being the son of ego, the living planet. And somehow, some way that just makes him fit in, fit in a little bit more with the heroes of earth. Not really sure. But the question is for you guys, what do you think about this? James Gunn is making statements, making it sound like the plan is to have a solo star Lord movie. Now, obviously with the ending of guardians of the galaxy three and all of us that saw it, we probably suspected as much, but it's a little bit more tangible now that the director of the film, who's now off running DC actually said it out loud. Did he and Kevin Feige always have a plan to do a Star-Lord movie? Are you open to seeing a Chris Pratt-led Star-Lord Star movie? I certainly am. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. Did you know that we have a daily podcast, hour long, every single day, Monday through Friday, that you can find on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice? Just search for The John Campius Show Podcast.